Hello everyone, welcome back to ESO, Elder Scrolls Online, Home Furnishings. Today, I want to take a look at a couple different candle stands. We've got the Eleanor Candles, just the stand. Eleanor Candles, tall stand. So, as you may have guessed, one is quite taller than the other. It's about, let's see, if that's just one of those things, and this is three, kind of tell how much taller it is, and then... Unlit. Unlit. But again, you can't really always tell just by this preview screen, so we're going to go ahead and place these two down. And then we'll go inside and we'll show you what it looks like when it's actually in a building. This is my Eleanor townhome. It's a work in progress. Um, so I got a ways to go with that. But just to give you an idea how tall these things are, this is almost as tall. And my, my guy's not the tallest guy in the world, so most likely you're probably going to be a little bit taller than this. But the other one's about waist height, as you can see here. The other one's about character height, more if you count the candles. So there, you can kind of see, I know it's daytime outside and it's kind of hard to tell, but you can kind of see a little bit of a ring where the light is so you can see what they look like on and off let's go ahead and get a little bit closer look here with we'll it T to turn off collision bottom nothing special just a wooden bottom square it's got some nice little carving designs a little tiered effect on the base and of course it's got some like spoke looking things on the bottom of the pillars and there's a little bit of you can see there like the leaves around the edge of the top part of the platform and it's got three candles one two three four five six seven eight so it's like a stop sign if you have stop signs from where you're from I think most people do and then this is pretty similar again nothing special on the bottom it's got the same kind of base it's just quite a bit taller there's the leaves on the um, top part of the platform it's got four candles on top so what do you say we go inside where it's a little bit darker I know it's still three o'clock in game so it's a little bright but this might get you an idea of what it may look like so we'll shut these off we already got one right there so maybe we'll go down here and kind of get a better view so here's the shorter one and here's the taller one, a secret chest, don't look at that. So there is a radius for the smaller one, off and on. It actually provides a good bit of light, doesn't it? And then here's the larger one, so you can see there's some reflection on the wall on its farther side. Not as much with the smaller ones. I think the bigger one does provide more light. Although they're pretty close. And again, this, if you have the Eleanor Town House, it does kind of match the wood. So if that's kind of the theme you're looking at. And again, this is a work in progress, so don't mind the emptiness. There you go. Well, that's all there is to it. Like I said, nothing too crazy about these. I think they're pretty cool. I do like these a lot. They're a nice little stand. You can turn them on and off with your UI shut off if you want. So you can whoop, take some pictures or what have you as I roll around. And that's it. That'll do it for me for today. So I hope that was helpful to you, a little bit at least. I just want to say thank you all for watching. Hope that you all enjoyed. Feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't already and you had a good time. And if there's any furniture you'd like me to do a video on, you can take a look at. Feel free to let me know and... Hopefully we'll see you next time.